Okay, let's talk about sound mixing. One of the important things to, to note when you're sound mixing is where you're going to mix, where's your, where's your mix going to be played? Uh, is it going to be played on television? Is it going to be played in a movie theater, uh, home theater, and so forth? Um, it's important to listen to the sound mix through the appropriate speaker when you're doing a sound mix. Um, also to change speakers back and forth. I like to listen to a full frequency speaker system. The Genelex that I have here work along with a subwoofer and that gives me a complete range from 20 hertz all the way up to 20,000 hertz. I can hear all the frequencies. But if I'm going to play this on television and expect that my little TV is going to have that same earth-shattering bass, it's not going to happen. And, and my bass and my mix is going to affect the way that the music is balanced against the dialogues in particular. So what I have is a, an old favorite. Um, this is a, an, an avant tone, and it's a model of something called the oratone, but this is basically what we call a based challenge speaker. This gives me an, a good idea of what the audio will sound like on television. And what I like to do is I like to do a final mix on my big speakers, then I go make a pass on this and I see what really happens. Does the music disappear? Do the things that I think are holding up the mix disappear? This is a good way to reference your monitor, to reference your mix through this kind of monitor. And then you get an idea. What is it going to sound like on television? Then you go back and make adjustments and listen to it on the big speakers. See how much of a change there is. But it's really a good point to listen to your mix through several different speakers.